know, I can relate to a lot of the things that they're going through. Um, there was nights where I would have to go into McDonald's and steal the trash bag out just to get something to eat. You know, I, 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 I try to, to let them know that, hey, I'm, I'm, I've, I've been there myself. I've, I've done that, you know, I've, I've, I've been on the streets. I've lived most of my life on the streets. So, you know, building that trust with them, it goes a long way. How are you feeling? Horrible. Horrible? It's the the horrible weather, huh? Me and else. Oh, gosh, you know, we have um, some spray that I could bring to you. We're struggling because there's not a lot of beds opening up quickly enough for the amount of people that we're touching every day. We're in a housing crisis and we can't deliver if we don't have housing and interim housing to be able to really provide the wraparound services to stay in housing. What outreach consists of uh, for me is, is meeting people where they're at, going into their encampments, going to their homes, um, and engaging with them, you know, building trust, uh, building rapport. You know, I, I, I've lived the lifestyle myself. Sylvia, uh, I've been working with her for a while. Um, Sylvia has been in our, uh, our program before. She's elder, so, you know, I, I pay more attention to her. I try to go out to see her at least two to three times weekly, uh, make sure that she's, you know, okay, make sure that things haven't happened to her. So it's a solar charger so that she can continue to charge her phone so that we can keep in touch with her. Hey, what's up, Sam? Give me some good news. Uh, we were able to get the hotel room for her for a week, which is amazing, which, you know, really doesn't happen that often. Okay. I'll, I'll come back. I'm gonna wait for your call. I'm gonna, yeah, wait for my call. I'm gonna come back and pick you up, yeah. okay? And then we'll go to the hotel. I'll okay. take you. To see her, you know, at least get a break from the streets is, is, is why I do this. For more than 30 years, LA Family Housing has been leaders in the region. Our goal is to help link folks to resources, any resource that can really help end homelessness. Most people understand that the way you solve homelessness is you create a home. Uh, and so I think the details uh, matter to people a lot and I think the process matters to people a lot. And what really matters in my district is how those properties will be managed. And that I think is the brilliance of permanent supportive housing, which foundations really brought to the fore as a strategy. Housing that has the supports for people that are living in it on site. We have on-site case management and supportive services throughout the day and night. We help link folks to food pantries, mental health services, medical, employment, education. We have 476 units in the pipeline right now. And our goal is, uh, our 10-year goal is to have a thousand units. The triumph of Measure HHH and the willingness of uh, Los Angeles residents at an 81% clip to support uh, resources for housing is, I think, a shining testament to public-private partnerships, both in the foundation world, in the uh, world of for-profit businesses, uh, in the government, and in the social service sector. Uh, the impact that Measure H and Triple H has had is we're seeing services that we've never been able to really execute before. We're able to do much more outreach work and engage some of the hardest to engage folks because they've been hidden in encampments and in riverbeds for so long. Ending homelessness in LA, I think, can be done. If we all pull together and we all work together, I think, I think we can do a lot of good. I think we can overcome anything.